fast update for Wednesday, January 6, 2021 for college basketball. Uh, I, I'm, I'm feeling a little more comfortable with this Excel file, and I, I think I'm going to start selling it with, with the subscription package. And the reason why is everything's kind of here, and I don't have a lot of time to work on it, but somebody um, posted a comment on the video talking about, you know, the distribution of these percentages of, you know, what we're going to be using to do the point projections. And they're like, aren't you just like throwing darts at the wall? Aren't you just really guessing if all you're using is just points or you're not using the distribution of different statistics? And the answer is kind of, you're kind of right. However, if you start putting different percentages on things like blocks and field goals and I don't know what even TL means, when you start doing that, it messes around with what the scores are. So, like you, you can't, you can't do it as much as you'd think because it screws up the distributions of scoring. It really requires a lot of work. So, yeah, like you can't have team score at thirty-four points, which is what happens when you give them blocks as part of the thing that's comprising their points. It really should be points. I don't know. I need to do a lot of research. But the point is, you guys can all do the research as well. I mean, forty-two points is not a lot of points either. Um, I, like it, this requires some work. Point is, people can mess around with this, and I'm, I'm starting to think it's ready. So I want to talk about why I'm doing a video right now. After I did one last night, the games I don't think have started, or maybe there was one. At, oh, it's 11 p.m. now. There's, I don't think there's any games yet. It's it's early. It's before four, so this is all still current. The lines are not updated, but the percentages and point projections with the stats are. So if you get this file, which is going to start happening. There's a, a query here that runs, and you just refresh this thing, and it goes and fetches all these standings off the web. Then there's an injury report that's not automatic. You need to paste this in from RotoWire, which is what I do. Um, I subscribe to RotoWire. I highly recommend it. RotoWire is an awesome website with great stats. These are the player stats that you can also get from RotoWire that you got to bring in here. And then all that stuff automatically is going to update this, this thing that looks at all the different teams. Now, bringing in odds and stuff also comes from RotoWire. This is free. The, the, the link is free on RotoWire to go grab it. You got to paste it right here and then toggle this thing, and it'll it'll show you the games that pop out. All the stuff comes out here. It comes out in a string like this. And so I wrote this code. You just have to make sure you get the number of games right because it all looks weird and stuff if you don't put the right number of games that you've pasted in here, and you can paste it over and over again to get all the games. This tells you this divided by two. When the games stop, when the team names stop, that's how you know how many games it is. So I know this is getting complicated. This will make sense if you have the file, which is why I'm doing this video uh, for posterity's sake. So after you do that, as long as you have all the team names straightened out, which I think I've got almost all the teams now, but there, there will be some that pop in every day that are playing new, new games for the season. You paste this stuff from the simulator into the cube sheet here, and all these formulas are like pull down formulas. So you just pull them down when you grab new data, and it's going to create new projected scores. And you can actually, you know, choose different teams down here, and you can create your own simulated games um, with any two teams. And all you have to do is pull down these formulas. You obviously wouldn't have a line for those games because you're making those games up. You wouldn't have a game time and a line, but you could essentially write a code to infer what a line should be, which is something I have done in the past. But it would show you that like Akron would crush Air Force according to this and according to point projections. It does everything. It simulates everything. Like you can any team you want, it's just gonna start, you know, messing around and putting those those two teams together, right? And all you do is pull this stuff down. You pull all of these down. So I'm, that's why I kind of want to sell the Excel file with the with the subscription because at this point you guys should be able to have fun with this yourselves. And, and I'm sure a lot of you care about college basketball more than I do. So um, BU would crush Alabama State apparently. Anyway, all right. So the point of all that was using this as a tool to gauge games that you want to pick, right? Well, we go back to today because I did just update stats for today, right, right now. And when I did that, I still have this 9% home bump thing up here. I'm going to leave it. But let's look and see if anything has changed. I know the lines aren't going to change, but did any percentages or point projections or anything? Is there anything in here that looks reasonable? And, I mean, I think the answer is it's a rough day. I mean, we've got if, if you get rid of the home bump, right? which means we don't move a home team up 
by that number of percentage because they're home because we think home is better. It gets a little choppier down here. So let's go with, actually, I kind of like looking at it this way for a second. I'll tell you why. You know what we do know from the past is that without the home bump, that these away teams down here lose their ass off. We've noticed that. Like, Incarnate Word gets blown out by Northwestern State. So, so uh, Georgetown's going to lose to Butler. Texas and AM's going to lose to South Carolina. So I, I kind of like these three teams. Well, what are the lines on those three teams? The answer, what are they? They're Northwestern State, Butler, and South Carolina. Okay, what you can do is you can unfilter that. And it was Northwestern State, right? Whoops, Northwestern State, hold down control and use the mouse, Butler, and what the heck was the other one? South Carolina State or something? So, so what was it? Was it South Carolina? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, because the margin is right there in between 10%. That's how I know. Okay, so these three teams are probably going to win based on the way the algorithm. Because when the bump goes up, they're going to they're gonna pop up there, right? So they are at 188, 220, and 340. Does it think they cover by point projections? No. If it, all, all of them thinks it doesn't cover in point projections because the home bump screws with this a little bit. Like technically they're a worse team, but they're supposed to win because they're at home. All right. Now they get bumped up to a positive margin when we bump them up, right? And I remember last year, like a 4.5% bump percentage was good. So in this case, South Carolina and Butler win, and Northwestern State actually doesn't, and they're the one that's at 340. And it, it picks, picks incarnate where it's only a 70. This is a weird one. So let's say just these two, just South Carolina and Butler, that's an interesting parlay, I guess, the two of them. That's probably going to more than double your money. Um, uh, certainly more than double your money if it's a parlay, but um, that, that's probably what I would do. So... All that being said, what was the point of all this? Up this with margin. Point is, there's a lot of information here. I'm not going to use any of it. I'm, do, I'm turning this video off. I'm uploading to YouTube. And I'm doing nothing but work on payroll for the rest of the day. I'm not, I'm not like leaving the house. I'm just doing like nothing but work for people. So I'm not going to touch this. But I know there are, are those of you. I do. I have to drive to bet. I have to drive hours to bake a bet. Like you, it's not a thing I do on a normal basis unless I'm going out there anyway. You know, for a reason. So uh, I don't get to use this. Um, maybe they'll change that while well, in my state at some point. I heard. I heard Governor Cuomo was talking about like really pushing sports betting or something in New York in some speech or something. It drove. Uh, it drove DraftKings stock up today. And I do think that it's just gonna it's just gonna proliferate. Like this is a science. Like, I mean, I mean, you can you can just make educated wagers on this, and and, and kind of like in the long run, even if you have bad runs, you're still gonna like break even in the long run, but probably make money. It's you don't have to like anything. You don't have to go crazy with it, but um, but I do understand there's there's certainly people that want this. So all right, guys, um, uh, that is a like yeah three minute video, right? Eight eight and a half minutes later. Uh, I, I haven't done any analysis. I don't know, but I, I'll start. Adding the Excel file to the sale. Am I going to do that? I don't. I don't see a reason why not. Right? Is there, I mean, nothing in this thing is too nuts that I can't hand it out now. Like you, you can change percentages here. Like you want some new scores? Okay. Like do this thing. Like care about assists half as much. What happens? Watch the spread cover numbers change. Boom, everything changes. Like this, this is a this is a model. This is just a fun model to mess around with. All right, guys, I'm gonna add it. All right, I'll add it. I'm gonna up the subscription price because now I'm gonna have to do this freaking thing every day and make sure it's clean. So so I'm gonna up the subscription price a little bit for the month, like 50 bucks for the month, but you'll get this file every day. And everybody who's already subscribed, you're gonna get it. Because um because uh, you guys you guys are cool and, and jumped on the bandwagon first. All right, guys, I'm out. Good luck.